friends, welcome back to Regular Secular Mama. I had something kind of neat that I wanted to share with you, but it's a little too long to share in a YouTube short video. So I decided to go ahead and make just a full video and upload it, and hopefully this helps some of you who are working with Notion and um, want to use the template feature. So I had a comment on a, on a video asking about how to create the little templates within pages. So I'll get to that in just a minute, but first I wanted to show you how to make an actual template page like one of these. So for example, I have my view here um, split up by subject. And so for example, I've got my subject history and all of our history lessons for the rest of level six in Build Your Library. And what I did when I was setting all of this up in Notion is I created a template page for how I wanted those history lesson pages to look. So here is that template. It already has these um, properties pre-filled in. This is the subject, which will categorize it here on my view. And then these are tasks that I would need to do to prepare for that lesson. And then this is how I wanted the page to look. Any content that I needed to preview, books that would be required for reading in that lesson, materials needed, and then the actual information in the lesson. And then this is what the poster had commented about. Um, this looked a little bit different in the video that she commented on. Now Notion has changed these little, um, I don't know what you call them, like content templates into what's called buttons. So, okay, let me back up a little bit. First, I'm going to show you how to make a template like this. So when you're in your view, go up to where you add a new page and click the little arrow and it shows you all of your templates that you've created. Down at the bottom, it'll say new template. So you can go in and it gives you just a whole new page. Now I'm just going to create like a tester template to show you how this works. I'll call this um, subject literature. I will give it some tasks and let's see, blah, blah, blah. Down here, it's completely blank, so it looks kind of scary, but you can add things like the headings that I had on the history template. Um, and I just changed the color of these, which you can do here. You can change the font color or the background color, so it could look something like this. Anyway, this is what it looked like in my um, history template. I had it blue. And then you could add something like your text boxes, um, blah, blah, blah. You can add things like um, <clears throat> toggled lists are when you have some, I don't know, I do this on my literature pages. I have my copy work inside one of these toggled lists and then inside it has like I don't know, for chapter one, the copy work is this, and then here's all the copy work. And then you can make this go away if you don't need to see all that at once. And you can also do, there's a ton you can do. I really can't show you everything <laughs> because there's so much that Notion can do. Um, but if you want to create the template like I have, or the template buttons like I have in that page I just showed you, you would add a button. And then it's basically like a trigger. So clicking the button is a trigger to activate some kind of action, which is actually a lot more powerful than the previous template um, item here that it looked like in my video. Now you can have the button prompt all kinds of actions, not just adding new content here. So let's say we'll call this, I don't know, let's go with copy work again. So when I click the button, I want to create this kind of toggled list that I already made. I just want to like make this over and over again, say for each chapter, okay? So I'll just call it the copy work button. So when you click the button, say I want it to create, oh, that's what it's called, blocks. I want to create blocks that look like this. So here's my toggle. And I'm going to say copy work for chapter one. And then inside the toggle will be um, this and then something I can easily like highlight and replace when I add my block. 
Okay, let's say this is how I want it to look and this is exactly what I want to add every time a button is clicked. So I'm done with that. Now when I go in and I'm actually making my lessons, I can use these templates in um, to make my life easier. <laughs> so I'm done making this template. Let's go back and say I'm adding in my lessons and stuff. Okay, now I want to go ahead and make myself one of these pages using my tester template. So I'm gonna call this, I don't know, lesson one for literature. And it has all of the pre-selected things that I put in my template. And now my button here, pretend that's not there. <laughs> I click my button and now I have added this block for copy work. And then I can go in and replace this with whatever the copy work is. And then I need to add the next day's copy work. Now it does add it like one on top of the other. So you might have to kind of rearrange these the way you want them. Um, it's as simple as just clicking and dragging to put it where you want it to go. I think what I did before is I would take these that I had already made and then move them up here. And I kept the buttons kind of at the bottom because I didn't want them cluttering up my lesson. So then you would just replace this with whatever that chapter's copy work is and boom, there you have your your buttons here or your your um, blocks. Well, um, I have discovered some really neat things that these buttons can do. For example, I I tend to use Notion more these days for these history lessons because I have so much stuff in here for each lesson. Uh, most of it is from Build Your Library, but some of it I have added in from um, River of Voices or other books that I felt we should read that were not in Build Your Library, um, links to videos and things. But what I do is when we finish a lesson, I will move my lesson page from the subject to another subject that's hidden here called Finish. And how I was doing that was I would open it up, click the subject, and then change it to Finished. But I have discovered, well, let's see, where is my template? Okay, here's the lesson that I just made to test it and show you guys. I have discovered that I can use these buttons up here in the properties, and I will show you why that is helpful in just a second. So what I want this button to do is to move my page from this subject to that finished subject without me having to like open it and find this. So I'm going to call it finished. And then when the button is clicked, I want it to activate the action of changing the property subject to finished. Does that make sense? So now when this button is clicked, it will move this whole page to that column in my view. Now the cool thing is when you have your view set up like this, you can change what properties of the pages are shown. And right now I, I like to keep it really simple. I don't like this to be cluttered up with a whole lot of things. I like these tasks to be here so I can easily see what I need to do to prep for that lesson or if I have prepped already. But I can also show the property, uh, that button that I made. And now each of these pages has this little button on it. I don't have to open this page or do anything or drag anything around. I can simply say, okay, we are finished with that lesson. And it has now moved it all the way over here to this little hidden column that I made. Let's see if I can find it. See, there it is right there. So if you'd like any more detail on templates or buttons or automating things in Notion, let me know. Um, just be warned that I'm not going to use Notion as much in the next school year as I did this school year because I am basically sticking to Build Your Library Level 7 almost exactly as it's written in the curriculum. So in order to keep my life simple, I decided not to utilize Notion for those lessons and just stick to the written lesson plan that Emily Cook has provided. I'm not planning to change hardly anything at all. So um, I didn't actually, you know, prep anything like this for next school year. But it is really powerful. It's especially helpful if you are somebody who likes to blend different curriculum and pull in pieces from different things, but you want it all to kind of be collected in one place. It's super helpful for that. It's extremely helpful for including links to videos and things 
or um, PDF pages that you'll need for that lesson. So like I've pulled out um, some pages. This is from History Quest, and I have the PDF right here. I mean, it's saved on my computer, and I can print it anytime I want, but having it here makes it super quick and easy. I just like download it and print it right away, and I don't have to go hunt for it on the computer. Anyway, I hope that was helpful, and uh, I will see you next time. Thank you. Bye.